Oh, I'm excited. I I really love the original Wild Arms. Its story is like the perfect example of Ooh, revive fruit. Its story is the perfect example of like simple but effective. It, it's like it's not overly simple where it's like, oh, it's boring, but like it's it's not anything complicated, but it's a really nice story. And its lore is really good. I like the lore in this game too a lot. Hello, Rudy. You seem to be settling well. I understand that the horses are thriving under your care. There must be something I can give you to show our gratitude. The world is decaying, Rudy, even here in Surf Village. Once this village benefited from the herbs we collected from the Berry Cave, west of the village. But that was long ago. Forgive me, Rudy, sometimes an old man's mind wanders. In the storage area next to this room, you'll find our supply of bombs. We use them to explore the Berry Cave. Please take them. They're worthless to the village now, worthless to the village now but they might be useful to you. I'm pretty sure we have the search system in this game because that was the little jingle like, oh, you can find this area now. Plus, if this game is using the Wild Arms 3 engine, it wouldn't surprise me if they brought it back. Riding Beasts and Holy Berries, sure. This is a story as it has been handed down in this village. Once a rotten beast attacked Sir Village, the rotten smell made the air rank in its footprint contaminated the earth. The creature had existed for as long as anyone could remember. And the mortal beast is indestructible, even if damaged again and again. Finally, when the village smelled rotten, a wanderer visited the village and threw a holy berry filled with the brilliance of life at the rotten beast. The body of the monster disappeared in that dazzling light. Only the holy berry remained. The villagers rejoiced and grew the holy berry seeds in the nearby cave. Finally, they raised it into a tree. The cave became known as the Berry Cave because it was the home of the brilliant life-giving berries. To this day, the holy berry shines deep within its cave, undisturbed. The essence that the Holy Berry releases is the light of the village's future. Okay. Open up. I got a bomb! A bomb can be set at your feet by pressing square. After setting it, allow time to pass. It breaks items such as wooden box or rocks. Also, if you set bombs close to each other, they explode at the same time and can destroy obstacles in the Y area. You could set a maximum of 8 bombs. Village Chief, Mr. Tallman, we got a serious problem. Mr. Tallman is really the chief's name. That's funny. This man is not that tall. Not much taller than Rudy, that is. He's like hunching back, so he's probably a little taller than Rudy, but still, not enough to be called tall man, you know? It's alright, please continue. Tell me what happened. It's Tony. He broke the village ban. He went to the berry cave. That little scum. Not scum. What, what, what's the word I'm looking for? That little troublemaker. What? Why would he do something so foolish? He's a child. They all do it at some point. What should we do? The berry cave used to be the source of a great medicinal herb, but now it's just a den of monsters. I don't know what we should do. In any case, keep it a secret for now. I will explain to the villagers later. We don't want to start a panic. This goes for you too. You shouldn't tell anyone about Tony breaking the village ban. We don't need anyone running off and playing hero. We need to come up with a plan. By the way, I'm not sure when to insert this or when to say this, but I'm going to say it now. I was so ready for this playthrough, and after doing the post games for Wild Arms 4 and 5, mostly 4, because I think specifically in 4, I was looking forward to doing the, uh, every Wild Arms game has, everything 2, 3 onward, has what's called the black box, which you have to open every single treasure chest in the game, and you get to open the final chest, which is called the black box. Every game from 3 onward, 3, 4, and 5, has that side quest. I wasn't able to do it in 3 and 5. And in 4, I wanted to do it because the detector was, like, like really useful. But there were missable chests in the early game, so I didn't. Um, I made a checklist that I'll probably put in the link of the videos on YouTube. <laughs> I, um, I actually went through a guide. I didn't read the guide. I went through a guide to look how many chests are in the game, and I, like, jotted down the number of chests in every single location, and I put, like, a nice little handy checklist. Also, the puzzle boxes, because those are considered chests. But, um, we're gonna try to get the black box in this playthrough is basically what I'm getting at. Because I really wanted to get it in Wild Arms 4 specifically. But I didn't. So, this will be a way to make it up to myself for that, and also people on YouTube, why not? Parrot. Hello, would you like to save? I would like to save. Thanks for asking. Should also... PCSX2 doesn't crash much, but I'll just do a save state. This isn't like... Swan Station. So, I mean, it's not that bad. 
I don't know if I can even get chests right now, but I just thought I'd mention that. And there are no chests in the world map. I know Wild Arms 5 had chests in the world map. There are no chests in the world map in this game. So we don't need to worry about that. All the chests are like in towns, dungeons, and obviously the puzzle boxes. By the way, spoiler alert, the puzzle boxes are back. <laughs> but that's part of the optional content they added. But um, those, there's, uh, there, those are chests too. So I did a head count and I double checked. I got all of them listed. I should have had all of them listed. I don't have like where they're located, I just have the amount. The lock on the barn is rusted shut. It hasn't been used for a long time. So if I take a look at that right now, there are three chests in surf. I also put like a how many found column. Because there's a couple of chests that you have to like come back for with later tools. So for people trying to get the black box or myself, I made it a little easy. Yeah, it's returned. The search system seeks undiscovered towns, caves, and so forth. Press the square button to use its radar. Discovered locations are shown as symbols on the screen. Maybe enter by facing the place and pressing X button. Tony appears to have headed for the Barry Cave to the west of Surf Village. Use the search system to find the Barry Cave. Aw, oh, this music! I love it. Is it right here? Oh, I'm a gamer. It's that easy, just west of. G give me an encounter. I want to see an encounter. Oh, hello, they have a little thing. Oh, ambush. Ooh, yeah, this is very Wild Arms 3. Which, like I said, this is the Wild Arms 3 engine. Auto status system. Get set. Yeah, let's do it. Oh, and Rudy has no sword this time. Just a gun. That's really cool. Hey, Gob. I'm gonna kill you. Try out my gun. Yeah, this is, uh, Rudy basically functions like a Wild Arms 3 character. Not desperate measure. Ow. Die. Ba, 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 bum. Wait, Gela, not bad. Ooh, 1.4 XP rate is actually not half bad. Oh, so there's Vitality. Yeah, this game is very, like, the, the engine is Wild Arms 3, so expect a lot of the Wild Arms 3 mechanics to be in this game. Did the village chief speak with you? If he has, then you already know. I still can't believe it. I hope Tony's alright. I turn my back for one second. That's children for you. Under our law, all who live in Sir Village are prohibited from going to the cave. I don't think Tony cares. What should we do? I got it. You're not from our village, right? Therefore, you're not bound by our laws. Ah, yes, of course. Will you risk your life and go into the cave? Please find Tony and bring him back for me. Let's do it. Thank you. I'm forever in your debt. Thanks. This is advance payment of your reward. Please take it. Lucky cards. Oh, we got migrant seals back. You now have one migrant seal and the encounter cancel system is available. When ECN senses a monster. Yeah, one of the best things about Wild Arms 2 and 3. Press the O button when you see the exclamation mark on the screen to avoid a battle. T to no one's surprise, it's the Wild Arms 3 one. <laughs> There's no escaping a battle once it starts. Remember that when you avoid a battle, your ECN dodge decreases. Make sure to be careful. Oh, this music. I believe this is, um, I think this is still Michiku, what's her name, Michiko Naruke that does the Wild Arms soundtracks? I think this is still her work. I don't actually know that for sure, but she's a great composer. Ow. Oh, nice counter, let's go. Yeah, get wrecked, idiot. Do you mean to tell me that first battle I literally, like, left the gob with 1 HP? Because that time I one-shotted the gob. Ow. That's one mad little lizard. Petzl worm. Worm with a U, though. What are my force abilities? Oh, lock on, of course. Does this work like Clives? Increase the accuracy of the shot. Yeah, okay, it's like Clives. Uh, die. Be gone. Oh, no, 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 no. Thanks for the health. Were they level 3? Were you level 3 in the original game, too? I think you were level 1 in the original game, at least I thought you were. I don't remember. My Wild Arms 1 replay was like a few months ago. Once famous, the Barry Cave is now abandoned. Keep an eye out for the unknown creatures that roam its dark, treacherous shafts. Give me this encounter. We're not skipping encounters for a while. 
Well, well, well. Hey, Rudy, one shot this gob again. I know you can do it. <laughs> yeah, counter attack, easy. Upward thrust. Is that like the Minotaur's uppercut from Grandia? Oh, uh, gun. My only, my only solution. <laughs> my solution to every problem. It's literally my only option. We must wield arms or whatever. Yo, level four, not bad. Hello, is there a treasure over here? Sure is. Thank you for the heal berry. Oh, no, 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 no. I wonder if, um... It says 0%. Also, I have 3 ammo. In Wild Arms 2 and 3, you start with the Force linked to your level, but I'm level 3 and I don't have 3 Force, so I wonder how Force... I don't know if it's going to work a little bit differently. It might just work a little differently. Yo, Renovation? Please don't. Oh, that heals you. Okay. I might still kill you with this gunshot, though. Ba -na -na, ba -na -na -na. Oh, I can turn the camera. Let's go. Yeah, I'm not kidding. I'm not wasting my ECM, like, right now. Having only Rudy, I want to get some experience here. Oh, that was such a neat crit animation. Anyway, I was going to... This playthrough was on my mind for a while, and I wanted to start it, like, in May. But then when, like, people were like, Oh, I want you to play Paper Mario! And also, at that point, I was also playing, like, SMT4 and starting some other stuff. And I was like, you know what? I'll push Wild Arms Alter Code F back just to do it, like, exactly a year after the first Wild Arms game. Because that, that'd be really cool. I don't normally do stuff like that, but... I looked at the day and I was like, wow, when did I get into Wild Arms? And I looked and it was like, oh, June 4th. I streamed it and it went on YouTube June 5th. So I'll do the same thing with Ultra Code. Do a nice dodge. And die. I think I'm at the point where I'm one-shotting these guys. The gobs, at least. But yeah, I pushed this playthrough back for the sole purpose of doing it on a really special day just today. Ow. Get wrecked. Get yeeted. Oh, baking breath. Are you baking brownies? You having like a local bake sale or something? It's a good work. Now die. I'm getting 0.2 experience weight, by the way. Ba, ba, ba. Explode. Wait, my bomb went away? That's rude. How rude of you, Media Vision. I want to explode that crate. Okay, we haven't gotten a single chest. I probably should look. Oh, these. A glimmer and crystal of spirit. When you pick up orange gems, your vitality gauge replenishes by 10%. Okay, these are the vitality gems. Wait, I should look how many chests are in Berry Cave. There are six. Six chests in Berry Cave. I'm gonna need to keep track of how many chests I find. Personally. Because I really... I would love to get the black box in this playthrough. I was really upset when I was finishing the Wild Arms 4 playthrough and was like, Oh, I can't get it because I missed these, like, three chests in CL. <laughs> So I really want to, like, make it up to myself by doing it in Alter Code. I have to do it in at least one of my Wild Arms playthroughs, you know? And this is, like, our last main line, so this is, like, my last chance to. Because XF is a spin-off. I jumped there. Hold on. I want to see if there's anything. Wait. Okay, I see a chest right there, so that's one. When walking off the edge of a road, the character may pause and appear to be bouncing on the edge. Also, the the fake way to cancel encounters. This means the character can jump off. Press X to bounce the jump. If you're dashing, the character will jump without pausing. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, that's cool. 
So I see our first treasure chest. I think there's like 377 chests or something. I don't remember the amount by now, but again, I have the I have the Google Doc or the Google Sheets. Also, if anyone if anyone's still in chat, how's the audio? It should be fine. If it's not, though, I'll have to change it in Streamlabs. This game has no audio sliders. I know four and five have audio sliders. I don't think three did though. It looks fine on Streamlabs. Ba -ba -bum. Hello, chest. Let me mark that in the checklist. One. Let me also... Yeah, perfect. All right. Steel berry. All right, one chest, five to go in berry cave. But like I said, Wild Arms has a lot of like, oh, you can't get this without this tool. So that's why I put the column for how many found. Because there's going to be a lot of times where we can't even get all the chests. So I'm just going to like keep counting the ones I found. And then like, as we get more tools, we'll be like, oh yeah, I got to go back and grab a few chests here. Nice crit. That Dust Cloud reminds me of Persona 4 and 3's All Out Attack, by the way. Routed. Oh, goodbye. That's basically the gob surrendering. Gob gob. Yo, 69, nice. Um. Alright, well. Got one chest. Ah, uh, yes, the ECN crystals. Is Rudy already close to a level? Yo, nice art here. Is he, I, how do I look? Oh, one. <laughs> well, I'm one battle away. Okay. It's easy. Well, give me this encounter then. I want to get level five. I know we have a boss here. By the way, if you're watching this wondering, oh, I haven't played Wild Arms. Can I watch this playthrough? I'd say you could. I'm not going to, like, spoil Wild Arms. I'll talk about Wild Arms. I might not spoil any insane story beats. I'll try to keep it spoiler free in case people haven't played the original Wild Arms. Because this is a remake. I'll point out what's different though. And I'll probably talk about my experience with certain things in the original Wild Arms. I probably won't spoil stuff before it happens though. Like I'm not gonna be like, oh, this happens in the ending, you know? It might come up, so just be aware of that. But you know, I don't think I'll spoil anything major. So I mean, if you're watching this and you haven't played Wild Arms, you can totally watch this is basically what I'm saying. I'd say it's fine. Oh, we have to cherish this. I'm at 69 HP. How long will that last? No, my 69! That's what you get. Get countered. Dumb gob. Yeah, lock-on's not even worth it. Right, that one's a coward. He just ran. Bum, ba, na, 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 na. Was there a chest back there? I was bolting for the the next area. Okay, there wasn't. Yo, small flower. These were relevant in Wild Arms 3. Look, it's increased by one level. Okay. Probably not gonna use that right now, but cool. There's a chest down there. It's gonna bring us to two. Press X while next to a ladder and the character will grab the ladder. After you grab the ladder, use the left analog stick. Wow, you can climb in this game. Wow, revolutionary game design, right? That's just insane. Let me like preemptively mark that. That's two chests. Done. Alright, we're not at the point where we can one-shot this worm, but that's fine. Guys. Hello. Get it, Rudy, get it. What up? Ten gimmel coins. Of course the gimmel coins are back. 
player can use one Gimbal Coin to save data even in places where there's no memory bird. Also, if the player loses a battle, they can use a Gimbal Coin to choose whether they want to continue. Yeah, that's really unique for Wild Arms. Three basically had create your own save points unless you were in a town. I wonder, I feel like this game might have the same. Although the original Wild Arms had save points in its dungeons, I wonder if they're just going to scrap those. Because the original Wild Arms had save points to use. I think they only have one per dungeon, but they still had save points. So I wonder if this game is just going to scrap them or if it's going to keep those save points and Gimbal Coins are just another option. I'd be down for the latter, personally, but I guess we'll see. Gun. By the way, I love Rudy's character design. Rudy is like, oh, Rudy's design just is so good. He's one of my favorite protagonists, specifically for his design. I really love the, I love the hair color, like complimenting the red scarf and like the the kind of outfit he's wearing. It's really cool. I love Rudy's character design. The headband, that's what I meant to say. I'm also a sucker for headbands. That's why I like Elk so much. Not really. Elk just has a great character. But Elk's headband definitely gives him some points. Die. Oh, no, 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 no. But yeah, because we have to backtrack dungeons later, I'm going to use one. Why not? Because we have to backtrack dungeons later, I'm not going to make a fuss if we miss chests right now. Because like I said, we're going to have to backtrack dungeons regardless. Alright, that's three. That is three treasure chests. Man, Google Sheets are so convenient. Ba, 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 ba. Once upon a time, there were two gobs and one drifter. The drifter takes a shot at one of the gobs, kills him. To no one's surprise. And then, oh, oh, he's gonna get the lock arm ready. Oh, he's gonna go for the finish. He's gonna go for the finish. Yeah, he kills him. What a surprise. You all thought the gobs would win. You'd be very wrong. Oh, 69. Let's go. It's over here, huh? Oh, I see. Watch out, the ladder's unsteady. Do not hit. Okay, so this is the that's the chest I just got. So that's why behind the ladder I saw a pathway. I thought for a second this was like a different kind of gob, but nah, we're we're still in the early game. We're dealing with the standard gobs. No, you go. Sure, I'll take my desperate measure. Bum, bum, ow. Correct. Oh yeah, this can happen. This is a Wild Arms 3 thing. Oh, and it shows you a look at the bottom. You know, normal luck? I'll take a chance. I opened it. And we got... A Gimmel Coin. Which isn't, like, terrible. I mean, hey, the more Gimmel Coins, the better. Can, like save in dungeons again we don't know if the save points were scrapped yet 